send his begotten son. Have our beloved way. Will not to be perish, but have our everlasting life. Wonderful news of salvation. That Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, came into this world. He who quit the glory to heaven into the flesh and went to the cross by taking you and my sins, you and my frustration. The love of God is what the Bible says. It's what happened a little bit more than 2,000 years ago. The love of God took your and my transgressions and was slain and shed his blood. Was killed through crucifixion, died and rose from the dead. And here, Jesus is coming back. And today is the day of grace. Today is a day of mercy. God commands you to repent and believe in the gospel. Why do you need to repent? Because the Bible says that we all born and see when our ancestors, Adam and Eve, disobeyed God's command. We all are their descendants and we all born in sin and sin separated us from God. And God is holy. He cannot close his eyes when we sin, but then speak to punish us. Father sent his begotten son, Jesus Christ. What's going to happen with you? Can you talk about this? Maybe you don't believe that God is a real, but God is a real. Look at the sun. Look at the stars and night. Look even into yourself through a mirror. And the Bible states, we all created by God's image and likeness, but sin separated us from God. And sin brought the death. And a God is a whole. Sometimes we think that we are good people. Maybe you are, but we all are sinners. Sins. And He commands you to repent. To repent. And believe in the gospel. Wonderful news. And we are here. Of the glory of Come to the Lord. Humble yourselves. Cross your proudness. Remember that purpose living on the earth is not to have something or become a rich or even be poor. A purpose living on the earth is a salvation. It's a salvation. But no Christ, no hope. God is not that. Only one child. When he took a flesh, he needed to die because he is a sacrifice for you and my sins. But he rose from the dead. We all may agree that stealing is a bad, that lying is a bad, but what about homosexual relationship? What do you think about adultery? What do you think about sexual relationship before marriage? What do I cannot finance with you. You need to have a Holy Spirit. You need to have a faith and believe upon God's Father, only begotten Son, and His name is Jesus Christ. You want to have a Bible school? You want to have a maybe pursuits from the Word of God? Be blessed. Remember that Christ loves you, but He is only the way to be saved. Be blessed, sir. You have want to have a Bible? You want to read the Word of God? Oh, I've done that before. It's awesome. It's a good book, man. It's the Word of God, and the Word of God only could bring you to salvation. That's true. Because we're all born in sin, and we're in the sin, but Christ forgives us. And we admit our sin, but Christ. Yes. That have our Holy Spirit helps us to change our lives. I will be. Thank you. Because without Christ, life is crazy. God loves you. God loves you. But we need to change our lifestyle and right become a whole of Christ. Yes, absolutely. Be blessed. Oh, of course, of course. For God so loved this world, He sent His begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not to be praised, but have a everlasting life. Christ says that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life.
You need to change your lifestyle. You need to call to Jesus. Push all the way to the same. Choose the life. Choose the Jesus. By knowing that your sins forgiven and the names written in the book of life, God has a book of life. Book of life. You want to be written in the book of life. Christ is coming back, and all the buildings you see, all the buildings around, will fall down very soon. And America will enter a great war. And America, unfortunately, will lost. And the enemies of America will destroy this country. And most people of our beautiful country are going to die. A great fire is coming. It will be judgment of God because the sin of this country. But even if you die, but die in Jesus, you will live forever. So even I die tonight, I'll be with the God, not because I'm a good, but because Jesus is my righteousness. Safe and purpose living on the earth, it's a salvation. It's a salvation. This is how the place I have a right, sir. I have a right. I'm going to have a right to Christ. I love you all, and I wish to save you if you don't know our Lord Jesus Christ. But I cannot. I am just a man who born in sin and lived in sin, but forgiven by the grace of the Lord. And we are here to remind you about God's love, and that today is a of grace and a mercy. Let Christ forgive the sins and commands to all of us to repent and believe in the gospel. You may laugh at it, you may smile, you could judge, but it's about your soul. Because if you die without Christ, you will die forever. And God will judge you. And we have a word of God which judges. But who try to believe in Jesus. Not just to start to hear a tree for the cross. Not just to baptize, but have a Holy Spirit. It's all for the Holy Spirit cover yourself. And change your lifestyle. Change your mind. Ask Lord to do it. Otherwise, you die forever. This is end times. Repent until it's not too late. And God commands to do it. And God, God has a right to command. Because God is the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. And Jesus Christ he is the Lord of Lords. And only the way to be saved. Come to Jesus. Start to think about yourself. Come to Jesus until it's not too late. Jesus is a purpose living on the earth. Jesus only could deliver you from the darkness to his kingdom of the light. And only Christ could help you and forgive you. And today, it's a day of grace and mercy. And today, you have another opportunity to hear this wonderful news of salvation and of God. And it was like a God of Jesus is shed. And we said to you, choose a lot. Who wants to have the word of God? Who wants to have a Bible? It's a friend. You want to have a word of God. Guys, you want to read. And by the way, how do we say? Or if I would to offer you a card.
We all born to sin. And only Christ forgives the sins. No pop, no any praise, but only Jesus. What you need to do today? Run for your soul. Run for your soul. Run for your soul. Who wants to have a Bible? Who wants to have a Bible? It's a free. Who wants to have a word of God? Chicago will be destroyed. Chicago will be destroyed by fire. And most people will die here. Most people will die. But today is a day of grace. Repent. Believe in Jesus Christ. He is only the great Jesus is the Lord. And we proclaim the glory of Christ and declare that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. A great judgment is coming from God and America's enemies going to destroy our beautiful country. Pray for Chicago, for the mayor who is a lesbian. She needs to respect her hand until it starts rain. Pray for our country. Pray the people will to repent. You first need to have a peace with God. Come to the Lord. Admit your sin. Admit your sin. Admit your sin. You know what? I have a freedom right. You have a mask. You have a mask. Right? So lesbians, okay? So I wish to your friend, dear woman, you have enough. And I'm here. Be blessed. I love you. Be blessed. You don't, you don't know God, man. You don't know Jesus. You don't know God. Be born again. Be born again to know God. Everyone needs to be born again. If you are, Jesus is the living water. And he says, you don't need to pay for living water. If you don't have a gold or silver, even if you have a gold or silver, it's a prayer. It's a free call and free living water. Yeah. Guys, do you want to have a Bible? Who wants to have a Bible? It's a free. What about you guys? Do you want to read the Bible? You want to read the Bible? This is the word of God. Only could bring you to salvation. Do you want to read the Bible, guys? It's a free. This is the word of salvation. And you need to be safe, otherwise, without Christ, you die forever. But choose the life. Choose the life. That's why Christ died and rose, because he wants to see you in heaven. What about you, young man? You want to have a Bible? Who wants to have a word of God? Who wants to read the word of God? You want to be safe. It's no job. It's about yourself. This is question number one. And the Bible answers. And you could know if you have a Holy Spirit, God forgive you. If you repent and admit your sin, and you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But what about if you die? If you die, and you die, what's going to happen when you have a what about you young ladies? You want to have a word of God? Read the word of God. It's your choice. May Lord bless you to your hands. What about you young men? You want to have a word of God that you can read it? What about you? Sorry. Amen, brother. God bless you. you know what? Uh, we distributed King James. Yeah. But again, uh, Thank you. be blessed, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Who wants to have a word of God? For God so loved this world, He sent His begotten Son. That was Allah, have you heard? The Kutsu Abba. But listen, He will not be perfect. But how everlasting life. Punishment for sin, it's a death. But yeah. Christ fulfilled the plan of salvation. He paid the price for your life. He took your life, transgressions, and went.